is Mona here at Crab Clutch, and today is Friday. That means it is another Coaster Friday. Today we are going to use this doily to make a coaster. It's a silicone doily. I found it at the baking section, and I've been eyeing it for a while. I just didn't know how I wanted to use it. So this is my first experiment. I'm actually going to do three versions of it. So stay tuned for that. This is number one, and we're gonna try different versions to see how they come out. So I found this silicone mold. It's, it's a lace, I think they call it a lace mold. It's for baking, and it looks like a doily to me. But I thought it might be fun to try to do a coaster with this. So just to make it kind of stand out, I'm gonna use this ink pad, and it's, it's a solvent ink pad. And I'm gonna put it all over it. We're going to see if this ends up working. And now I'm going to take some hot glue because this doesn't have any way to keep it on here and I don't know if the resin's going to want to stay on or want to run off. So I'm going to do what I used to do a long time ago and I'm going to go around it with my hot glue. I'll let that cool and then I'll put another layer around it. Now I'm going to go mix my resin. I mixed my resin and I'm going to add a little color. This is a bright pink. Mix it in really well. Look at that bright color. Now I'm going to slowly pour it over. And I'll help move it around with my stir stick to the edges. If it doesn't go over, that would be ideal, but I don't think I'm going to be that lucky. And the glue is just to try to keep it from running away if it goes over the edge. You could probably try it without and it might work just fine. Now I'm gonna take my lighter, pop the bubbles. We're gonna let this sit a minimum of 12 hours. We'll pull it off. We'll see if it turned into anything good or not. I also thought about doing glitter, but this is what you got instead. This is cured and now I'm just gonna peel it off of the foil. So what I found is the resin doesn't want to stick to the foil, but the hot glue actually likes the foil, which is okay. Because I'm just going to break it apart here from the silicone. So I'm thinking parchment paper would have been the better choice. Okay, now I'm peeling off the silicone. And with the exception of this hot glue that I'm having a hard time getting off for whatever reason, it looks really cool. So, so I need to get my crappy scissors out and cut around anywhere that the hot glue or the resin went over the edge. So you don't want to wait for this to be fully hardened. At about 12 hours is a great time to do this. So you can clean it all up without much fuss and it's not too hard. So anywhere you have a jagged piece, you just cut right through there. 
So I think I'm going to try this again with resin and glitter. But I also have another idea of how to use it for a coaster. So we'll do three versions using this doily. And I think I won't put any hot glue around it the second time and just let it run off, any excess run off, and see how that works. Okay, then you want to just straighten it out and let it keep curing until it's hard. But I want to show it to you quick. Here is the side that it actually stamped on, and this stuff is permanently part of it now. And here is the other side. It looks really pretty on both sides. Better than I expected. And if you have any rough edges from cutting, just do a quick little file on there. Take an old nail file, an emery board. Just smooth it out a little bit. So there it is. What do you think? Be sure to let me know what you think in the comments below. I am going to try two more versions using our little doily and see how it comes out. Another one will be resin, the other one will not. I hope you guys like the doily coaster. It looks great front and back. You can use whichever side you want to be the top. One side is shiny, the other is a matte finish, and I think they both look great. I like the contrasting colors of the pink and the black as well. It actually showed up better than I expected. So definitely fun. So this was our number one experiment with this doily coaster, and I'm going to do two more. One is going to be with glitter, and the other one is going to be totally different. So I'm going to do two more, and we'll see how those turn out. So stay tuned for those. And if you haven't yet, remember to subscribe so you don't miss a thing. And remember to turn on, hit subscribe, and hit the bell for all notifications. Otherwise, you will not get notifications that new videos are up. And I will definitely see you next time. Remember, life's too short not to shimmer, so grab your glue gun and your glitter. Stay safe. Bye, guys.